Hi kindergarten friends, it's Mrs. T with your story today. I'm so excited about the story today because the story today is the gingerbread man. Have we read a gingerbread man story before? We have. We've even read more than one gingerbread story. The story today is the gingerbread man and you might know this story already, but if you can remember way back when we were in school, we talked about how some gingerbread stories are different than others. So listen carefully and see if this gingerbread story, gingerbread man story, ends the same as the other gingerbread man stories we've read before. I can't wait to see. Before we start, I would like for you to pause the video and tell someone next to you, a mommy, a daddy, grandma, grandpa, brother, sister, a stuffed animal even, Tell them the job of the author and the illustrator of a story. Go ahead and do that. That's right, the author writes the words of the story. The illustrator draws the pictures. Well, the author today is Rosie McCormick. She's the author. And the illustrator, the person who drew the pictures in our story, is Gail McIntosh. So let's get started. One day, a little old woman decided to make a delicious gingerbread man cookie. She put the cookie dough on a cookie sheet and baked it in the oven. To her surprise, she j op when she opened the oven, the gingerbread man jumped out. Pause the video and talk to someone next to you. What would you have done if a cookie that you baked jumped out of the oven? Tell someone. you know what? I think I probably would have been really scared. I might have just froze and not known what to do. The gingerbread man ran out of the house. The little old woman and her husband ran as fast as they could, but they could not catch the gingerbread man. A cow grazing in a field sniffed the air. The smell of ginger made the cow want to eat the gingerbread man. The cow could not catch the gingerbread man either. Let's keep going. A cat sleeping in the warm sunshine thought that the gingerbread man would make a tasty treat. Not even the cat could catch the gingerbread man. Then the gingerbread man met a clever fox. Ooh, pause the video, tell someone next to you, what does the word clever mean? Clever, he was a clever fox. That's right, clever means really smart. He was clever. The fox pretended that he was not hungry and therefore did not want to catch the gingerbread man. Hmm, what do you think the fox is going to do? Pause the video and tell someone, make a prediction. What is the fox gonna do? Let's see if you were correct. The clever fox said, that he would be happy to help the gingerbread man across the river. As they were crossing the river, the fox said, the water is getting deeper, you should ride on my head. Why did he do that? Tell someone next to you, pause the video. Why did he tell the gingerbread man to get on his head and tell me why you think that? Let's keep going. Moments later, the fox said, now you should ride on my nose. Hmm. Before the gingerbread man could even say, thank you for your kindness, the fox ate him every last bit. Chomp smack. The clever fox licked his lips as he crossed the other side of the river. Oh my. Did this story end the same way? Maybe another gingerbread story that you've read ended? Did they end the same or did they have different endings? Stop and tell someone next to you how it was the same or different. Okay, friends, here's my challenge to you. I want you to think about the setting of our story. There was more than one setting. First of all, what is the setting of the story? That's right, it's where the story takes place. So in our story, 
we began with this setting. What is this setting? Yes, that's inside the old lady's house, inside the house. But then the setting changes. What's this setting of the story? That's right, it's outside. The setting is outside. Here's another outside setting. My challenge to you is, I would like for you to think of a different setting that the story could have taken place in. Think of somewhere else. Now, I want you to write and tell me how that would have changed the story. Would the characters have done something different if the setting was different? All right. Kindergartners, good work. I can't wait to hear about your writing. I'll see you soon.